A riot by hundreds of Tunisian immigrants on the Italian island of Lampedusa is now in a second day. On Tuesday night, they burned down the detention centre in which they'd been housed, and now they are rioting again. Let's talk to Carl Stanion Navarra on the line for us from nearby Malta. I know you've just been talking to the mayor of Lampedusa. Carl, what is happening on the island? Well, David, the mayor, Bernardo de Rubais, has informed me that he is armed with a baseball bat and prepared to defend himself and his fellow uh, citizens on the island of Lampedusa, given the situation on the island. Now, as you explained, there was a riot within the compound which hosted some 1,500 Tunisian migrants which landed on the island over the past four days and uh, they are objecting to being deported back to Tunisia as the agreement lays between Italy and Tunisia. We understand from the situation which is being reported to us that most of these migrants have now evaded from the camp and are all roaming the, uh, the island and are having clashes with the police and also with the locals. The situation uh, is not as easy as it has been described as well by some parts of the uh, media because we have residents who are telling us that they have been attacked in their homes because some Tunisians need food, need water, and they're doing all they can so that they can uh, obtain these services. In the meantime, the police are also warning the central government in Rome that unless they receive any uh, reinforcements, it is not up to them now to, to take up the responsibility if there will be victims. A number of people have been admitted now into a small clinic, which is on the island. Um, they are being treated for injuries. These are police, locals and migrants. Um, there is a standoff also next to a petrol station where some migrants have taken over the petrol station and are threatening to blow the place up. And they also have some gas bottles which are potentially to be used as bombs should the police charge to take over the situation. Now this is a volatile situation where the mayor himself is telling me that uh, unless something is done from Rome, um, nothing is going to be solved in Lampedusa and uh, he is also being blamed for taking a soft line with regards to migration. We have to make a distinction here that uh, the uh, Italian island of Lampedusa has been receiving migrants from Tunisia and from Libya. Uh, where in regards to Libya, everybody understands that these are uh, refugees which have been given protection on mainland Italy. Well, I just want to put in there, yeah. uh, Carl, if I can, because uh, go back to the number of Tunisian migrants you mentioned, 1,200. Uh, you said they, they just arrived in the last three or four days. Um, are there others there that have not been moved on? I mean, is that, is that the total makeup of the, the migrants on the island? 1,500 are those who arrived over the past four days on rickety boats from Tunisia. According to the authorities, these migrants who are arriving on Tunisia are mainly made up of uh, convicts who have evaded from the prisons in Tunisia during the revolution and they have managed to gain enough, enough money so that they can move on to uh, mainland Europe. Uh, Lampedusa obviously being the first island they can find to get into Europe. And, and will the Italian authorities send reinforcements as asked? Well, the Italian Minister of Home Affairs, uh, Roberto Maroni, has just gone on record to say that he's sending over um, some ships from the police and also the Coast Guard to assist, but so far they haven't arrived. Carl, thank you very much indeed. A very worrying situation for the people of Lampedusa. Uh, we'll follow that very closely in this news.